to manage users in Time Doctor, use the navigation at the top of the page. Go to Settings, then select Manage Users. First, take notice of the menu options at the top of the page. These options help you narrow your selections. You can change which groups are selected, the access levels selected, and whether you are seeing active or deleted users. There is also another tab here called Computers, available for silent companies or mixed companies, that shows a list of computers with silent users. So, for instance, if you only want to see your admins and managers, you could deselect regular users and clients. There is also a search bar, so if you want to quickly find one individual, this may be your best option. Looking over this page, you will see 10 columns. The first column is a checkbox for selection. Then is the name column. You can edit the name by selecting the edit icon. The screencast column is next. In this column, you can select how often screenshots are taken for your employee. You can also select a video option. These will be broken into three minute chunks for viewing later. Then you have three toggle columns. The first is for blurring screenshots. The second is whether this person can edit their time or edit the time of those they manage. This column does not apply to silent users. The last is permission for deleting screenshots. This allows a user to delete screenshots and videos taken from their screen. Doing so will also delete the work time associated with that screenshot or video. The next column, Inactive Time Starts After, has to do with how tracking is recorded when a user is inactive. When no keyboard or mouse is active for an allotted time, Time Doctor will stop tracking a user's computer activity. If you opt to turn this off, then the program will never stop tracking. The Level column indicates what position and access a user has. There are four levels of access, three that you can set, and the Owner Access, which is only given to the owner of the account. There is admin, manager, and regular user, with admin having the most and regular user having the least access. On the next toggle, you can select which users appear on reports. Keep in mind that you can also use user groups to group users for reports, which was covered in our Manage User Groups video. The final column has actions you can take for each user. You can edit users. If you select this for a regular user, you can change their name only. If you edit an admin or manager user, there is another option to send daily hours tracked reports to this user. You can also, in this column, delete a user and resend an invitation. If you delete a user, they will be sent to the deleted user page. You'll get a notification that deleted users will be permanently removed after 14 days and you will not be able to restore them after that time. If you want to restore the user, go to the deleted users section then find your user and click Restore. This will immediately restore them to the active user status, and they will be visible on the active user page. Time Doctor has some options to expedite your setup. First, if you are a silent or mixed company, you can set your new user default settings. This option applies default settings only to silent users. They do not affect the users added on the invite page. If you're going to have mainly silent users, setting up your defaults will save you a great deal of time. Also, revisiting the checkbox column, you can use this column to select all or some of your employees that you want to make changes to. If you use these checkboxes for selection, you will see a new option appear on the column headers. These drop-down options allow you to assign multiple users the same setting all at once. As a final note, anytime you make a change on this page, Time Doctor will auto-save the changes made. There is no need to hit anything else. And that concludes our overview of the Manage Users page. If you would like more information, please visit our Time Doctor support page.